Very good. Honorable. You're honorable. done. Thank you, Steve. Uh, what is it called? Honorable, my life. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Have a good evening. Don't, don't hang on to it. All right, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm done with the honorable thing. I think you feel slighted. Well. Walking up to the podium. Arthur Patron, who probably... For 10 minutes early, would like to stay on that track. Okay, I just want to say that Thanks, Art. It, it, if you, you are probably running a business within the business of the town government that has had the most moves and shakes the last four years. Shakes and moves. All to the good. Yeah. All to the good. All right. So, we're going to uh, start, uh, obviously there's a lot of line items, uh, overall I think it was pretty flat this year, there were some highs and some lows, so we'll touch on those, jump in, uh, if you have any questions, we'll start out with uh, professional services, it's a decrease of 60,000, uh, that's due to uh, us hiring a chief plan operator who's working out very well, uh, so we don't need those services there anymore. Scrolling down, we're really flat through uh, employee on-call pay, overtime pay. Uh, we'll go down to uh, personnel services, 8120. Uh, that did increase uh, because we had a, uh, we're still trying to uh, sort out the budget. Uh, Ken Dickinson, we moved him from inside to outside. He is a maintenance mechanic by title of foreman, so he is now in the appropriate spot. Uh, also, we'll be hiring a laborer in preparation for retirement. Uh, that labor won't come on until uh, definitely after Q1. So, uh, capital purchases, we will be purchasing. Uh, I've got a budgeted to purchase two submersible pumps uh, so we can hopefully get out of emergency uh, POs, but we have it in there. It's budgeted for it uh, in case we need it. Uh, improvements to pump stations, uh, that was actually a decrease. Uh, but we will be adding a, a up, updated level sensor to Wall Road, a new control panel at Mill Creek. Uh, we have a terrible uh, drainage problem at Hedges. Every time it rains, uh, the pump goes into high water. Uh, that is a call out. The guys have to stand there uh, until uh, the well pumps down, which sometimes could be hours. So if we can resolve that, uh, that'd be that'd be good for everybody. Uh, moving ahead, really the next uh, we have capital improvement for collection. Uh, that just increased uh, maybe 5%. And again, that's problem laterals, deteriorating uh, discharge manholes, uh, spot lighting were needed. I'm actually working with uh, Pat Stevens. I approached him. Uh, the problem laterals we normally um, sub out to a contractor. I'd like to get the highway to do those. Uh, we're going to plan ahead and hopefully they can work it into their uh, their workload next year and keep it in-house. All right, we should probably point out that the compensation line dropped because we've reclassified that one employee up to the uh, collection system category. Yep, yep thank you. So, uh, Monroe County Pure Water Sewers, uh, that increased a bit. That is because of more people coming on uh, to their system and then just an increase in charge. Uh, diesel fuel jumped a little bit. Uh, that is basically because fuel prices are going up. Uh, we're flat on gasoline and some others. And maintenance of pump stations, uh, that increased uh, somewhat. Uh, we're going to do more cleaning. We have a little more staff. We can do some more maintenance on those. Uh, we can, and I actually just sent you guys an email that uh, we're, you know we're, we're doing a little bit more maintenance that will keep us from getting to those emergency situations. So we're replacing those parts when they're needed to be replaced, as opposed to waiting for a catastrophic catastrophic failure.
uh, scrolling down, I miss any pull. Uh, the dioxide line, that decreased 66%, but that's not actually true. We just reallocated those $3,000 uh, into another dioxide line. So, you know, I, I will sort of step back that uh, working with Paul and Denise, uh, we're going to be taking a closer look uh, at what we're spending at each pump station, uh, breaking out through the year so we know, uh, you know, what's going to what pump station as to all in one bucket. Yeah, we've actually created uh, separate general ledger accounts for each pump station. <clears throat> doesn't reflect that way in the budget, but it's just going to enable us to track it in more detail. Build actually, a nice history for each station. So and actually, we're going to do that with the uh, with the plant as well, I believe. Correct. Yeah, we're going to break out each building, chem blower, uh, headworks, and so forth, so we can at least get a little bit narrower on where we're spending the dollars. Uh, scrolling down, uh, we did have a jump, uh, a little bit of a jump in uh, heavy equipment. Uh, we are the equipment is getting older. Our dump truck is getting older. Uh, our flush truck is uh, in right now for a ten thousand dollar repair. Uh, so, and we're putting more miles on the vehicles. The vehicles are getting older. So, we wanted a budget for those. Uh, you know, overtime again is flat. Uh, personal services uh, dropped uh, just a couple points. Uh, we can go to chief plan operator. Uh, that is part of what we uh, moved from uh, our consulting. So again, we did hire ch chief plan operator, and uh, he was on full time. So we just that was just a, uh, a slide within the line items. Yeah, yeah. In the prior year, sixty thousand was charged to. <clears throat> professional services because it was contracted out. So the comparison is actually 130. So 132.6. Paul, going down the line, 2000 capital purchases. Uh, that is a uh, included in that is a uh, hypochlorine pump. Uh, right now we have a uh, digital <coughs> one controlled uh, by SCADA. Our backup one is manual to switch that over and have it accurate. It's not. Uh, we need to have a reliable uh, backup. Uh, we're going to look at some auto lubricators for the clarifiers and a uh, washer screw conveyor uh, for our bar screens. Again, uh, building improvements is, is flat, uh, cellular drug testing. Uh, Moving down to 8130, Paul, 40372. Sludge hauling. Sludge hauling. Uh, we did reduce sludge hauling quite a bit uh, in just some conversations. We looked at history, and uh, we feel that's a comfortable number. And we're going to review it and keep reviewing it, but I think that's where, uh, that's where we should land. So, uh, 40374. Dioxide. That's what I was talking about. That was a jump, but that was again just a slide between uh, two different line items. Uh, the actual dioxide overall did not increase. <coughs> so, uh, laundry services did jump. Uh, our previous uh, vendor they went out of business, and uh, this is where we land now. We do have a few new employees as well. So, uh, 81340380, heating contract, uh, that increased 25%. Uh, that is just based off the contract, the town contract, is our share of it. Uh, the maintenance, uh, we did budget uh, repair and maintenance also in there. Uh, again, uh, old equipment, so we have to uh, budget some repairs throughout the year for that. Uh, lab supplies, 40390, that dropped. Uh, we've been doing fairly well uh, in the last couple years with uh, building up and replacing uh, antiquated items. Uh, in this, in this uh, line item is a, is a second sampler that our chief plan operator needs to go out and sample uh, the uh, 
industrial sites throughout the town. Uh, a new microscope is in there and, uh, and just regular supplies. Uh, we did increase uh, miscellaneous shop carts and uh, that is for very good reason. Uh, the staff is working with antiquated stuff. Uh, last year or two at Christmas time I go to Home Depot and uh, buy uh, battery powered Milwaukee tools for them uh, as opposed to old <laughs> corded stuff. Uh, so we're, we're slowly building up the inventory of tools they have to work with as we have uh, a few more people we're doing more stuff in-house uh, they need good tools to work with so overall it's a savings because we're not sending these items out for repair so a uh, good investment it's a long-term investment uh, pump repairs we did uh, for four zero four hundred uh, that did increase again. Uh, we still have some very old pumps out there in the ground. Uh, so we're seeing, again, we're doing the maintenance on them, replacing items before they break. This is less expensive than uh, replacing whole pumps. So uh, we do have in there centrifuge maintenance for 6000 Uh Office supplies, as you see, jumped. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is a form of just getting organized, plain and simple. It isn't much, uh, you know, from 2,500 to 8,000. I think we'll come in under that, but plain and simple, that's what it is. So as much as the world is uh, going uh, paperless, it's not. So, um, uh, 8134-0412, Paul. Yep, generator. Uh, so that is a maintenance of our new 800 kW generator at the plant. Uh, I would like that a contract for maintenance, uh, at least for the next, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. It is a very large piece of equipment, very uh, important piece of equipment. Uh, Penn Power does a great job on all of our generators throughout the town. Uh, so uh, we're going to keep them on contract to maintain that. So uh, oils and greases went up. Uh, again, we're doing more maintenance. Clarifiers uh, require uh, more maintenance, uh, more oil changes, more greasing. Um, and uh, medical supplies, safety equipment. Uh, that, that went up. Uh, so we've taken inventory the last couple of years of what, 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 what do we have? Uh, we are lacking uh, cones. Uh, our guys are lacking uh, some, some safety clothing. Uh, so we're going to outfit them properly. Uh, I think the highway does a great job of uh, outfitting their guys, and we're going to mimic that. Uh, you can see there. You can see the highway guys on the road. They're they're visible. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get on track with that. or anything like that, or are there any questions? Yeah, uh, the benefits are, we took a good look at them. Uh, there are actually a couple areas that we were able to reduce uh, based on history. So we kept it as uh, minimal as possible. Actually, that category went down about 40,000. <coughs> we'll go to the capital side.
you cover that? Yeah, you may have covered it already. I did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah, gone down my sorry. list. It's in the 8120 category. Yeah, sorry. Right. Well, we go, we go back through it if you like. This. Sure. Okay. I think, so, I think I missed it when you were going That's through. all right. It's a uh, it's a new level sensor at our Wall Road station, a new panel at Mill Creek. So uh, yeah. over the last three years, we've been, three to four years, we've been methodically going through our uh, uh, pump stations. Uh, they have uh, very antiquated controls for the pumps. Uh, some of the electronics are dangerous. Uh, so we've been trying to peck away at those as well as uh, replacing generators, which we're not doing this year. Uh, we're going to put in two soft start drives at our Glenview's pump station. Uh, when that goes over to generator, it uh, draws too much uh, voltage, which then triggers a call out, uh, which could be over time, middle of the night. So we want to keep the guys home and keep that station up and running. Uh, and then we're going back to the hedges, uh, drainage, and paving. We did, yeah, but okay. we'll do that again. Um, again, problem laterals, uh, repairing those. We actually carry a list uh, of problem laterals throughout the town. Uh, we flush them uh, at a minimum every quarter. Uh, again, working with Pat, uh, hopefully for next year, uh, repairing some of those in-house as opposed to going outside. Uh, coating or replacing deteriorating uh, discharge fan holes and then uh, spotlighting uh, areas to reduce I&I. &I. Uh, as we're cameraing, we find areas. And we actually have the uh, debt service section. <coughs> just <coughs> just uh, about a month ago, the town um, issued serial bonds to take the bond anticipation notes over long-term financing. So you see the uh, reduction in bond anticipation, the band principal and interest. And uh, you see a slight increase to serial bond principal and interest. Uh, so it's basically a refinancing of short-term debt uh, to take it over long-term for the uh, phase two, uh, phase one project of the wastewater treatment plant, which was the uh, installation of the three clarifiers and a number of other things. And um, if you look down here, there's uh, actually some incoming money. Uh, there's $125,000, which is coming in from the debt service fund. So it's essentially a revenue. Uh, debt service money is <clears throat> money that's left over from past bond issues. Uh, it has to be used to reduce bond debt. Uh, there was about a million dollars sitting in the debt service fund, so I'm gradually bringing it over to cushion the blow of the of the debt service. And this seventy three fifty six is a is actually a bond premium that we received when we issued the serial bonds about a month ago. And that becomes a revenue in the following year. So so it just nets the cost down. I think that's most yeah. of it. With year to year, we were flat, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah. The capital side is uh, after revenues and everything is uh, down about twenty three thousand. The O and M side, the net amount to be raised by sewer rents is actually up about uh, ninety three thousand. So okay. that's actually up here. So we're looking at an O and M sewer rent of 173.82 versus 168.89 last year, and then on the capital side, the capital charge will be uh, 2159 versus 23.23 last year. So it's a slight decrease. That's where we stand. I'll now entertain questions from the board. Well, I know you've been doing a lot of work as far as, <clears throat> you know, improvements and 
rather than putting band-aids on things, planning long term. And I think we're starting to see the bear the fruits of, of all the diligent work that you and your team have done in the last two, three years. So, <coughs> you know, John, and I appreciate you saying team because it, it's those guys that, that uh, on the staff that do the work, uh, and Denise. Uh, you know, I'm just there to support them. And you know, quite honestly, <coughs> a lot of this doesn't happen uh, <laughs> without a lot of calls to Paul to get some guidance. Sure. And, uh, and work so. closely together. Well, you provide the information that we need to make the decisions. So it's very, very important. And it's nice to hear that, you know, because of the advanced planning, that it'll free people up to do, you know, some of the things that they need to do. And we're trying. Have originally been designated to do. Yeah, so that's we're, great. We're getting there. Um, two questions. Uh, and I don't know if Paul is best to answer Art, so I'll let you figure it out on each one. Um, the combination of our O&M and capital created for the 2021 budget, I think about $192 for our EDU charge. Right. Mm -hmm. An EDU, for those keeping track at home, is, what is it, equivalent dwelling unit at 60,000 gallons a year. Is that correct, uh, Art? That's correct. Um, and there was a lot of talk out there that our EDU charge in 2021 was somewhat fictitious because it didn't have phase one's $12 million net of grants, $9 million. Uh, to <coughs> there. Paul, is that true? No. I didn't it's been think in there. So. Uh, we've had bond anticipation notes for the past two years uh, to finance the uh, phase one project. Right. And when you have bond anticipation notes, you're required to pay the same principal allocation right. as you would if you had zero bonds. Right. So it's been in there. So when you just described a few minutes ago that we converted those from short term debt to long term debt, and I think the long term debt wasn't that we converted wasn't all phase one. It was uh, there was other projects, the renovation of this building and town hall. Uh, correct. The number that shows in the budget is not just uh, phase one. It's other serial right. bonds that are remaining. Sure, but and historically, as a practice, too, just you know, it's accurate accounting that was in the EDU charge. Yes. And it will be in the EDU charge in 2022 and in the future for phase one and any movement we make forward as we go into a phase two. Right. Okay. That is question one. Question two, based on this proposed budget for the sewer department, um, what would the EDU charge be to Webster Town residents in 2022? Uh, 195.41. Okay. What'd you say? 195.41. It's on the front of your. Uh... All the questions I have. Beautiful, sir. So it's up three dollars and twenty nine cents. Okay. Okay. Great work. Thank you. Thank you, Art, for all your hard work on the budget Thanks, as well. Thanks, Art. Well, you call.